What's up, Internet? It's your soul again, and just had a, another interesting turn of events on fascist book slash face crook slash fake book slash Facebook, the CIA Incatel funded um, social network. And, you know, I, I would prefer very much not to use Facebook ever, but there are so many people on there, and at the moment it's quite challenging to get them to leave. So if you want to actually engage the world via the internet and you don't have a huge budget or your own website that's got a large audience already then facebook remains one of the ways to do that and at the moment that really just extends to me cross posting my creative writing and videos onto facebook and occasionally commenting in threads and so on and today i saw a post from a page that i follow on facebook that monitors police in america and they upload videos and so on of cases of police criminality ultimately most of the time and i'm just going to show you a few scenes from this video and i'm going to explain to you how i ended up getting banned from facebook temporarily as a result of of my comments so we're watching this on youtube just because it's better quality video but the, the short version of this is a guy presumably with dark skin yeah he does have dark skin gets pulled over in michigan um and the cop says, hey, I want to see your ID. And the guy says, uh, well, can you tell me why you pulled me over first? And it escalates very quickly. And the cop just keeps saying, look, you know, you're going to get arrested and go to jail if you don't give me your ID. He doesn't even tell him why he's being pulled over. Um, I mean, that's really the crux of this. Here's the deal. Either give me your ID or you go to jail. How about that? Put this on camera, man. Okay, so he's, the, the guy in the car is like saying that this isn't right. He doesn't obviously know the law exactly, but he knows that or he's pretty sure I would say that the cop's meant to sh at least tell him why he's been pulled over. And the cop at some point says, look, you, you're probably driving with a suspended license. That's why you won't show me. Um, and, you know, I'm not even in America, but my understanding is that uh, in that position, the law says the cop has to at least say why he's been pulled over. And someone pointed out that the states have different rules. And someone then said in the comments that in Michigan they don't have a rule that prevents uh, citizens' rights, including the one that says they have to be told why they're pulled over before showing any, any ID. Anyway, I'm going to skim through here. It calls for backup, uh, and then this happens. Okay, and you know, as you can imagine, it continues from there as this as this happens every day in America, as we see constantly. Sometimes people get killed, sometimes they don't, and usually they haven't actually committed any crime, or often they haven't. Sometimes they have. But anyway, that isn't the point of why I'm showing you this. Um, so people were commenting in the thread beneath and uh, various things, and I just posted this meme uh, in relation to someone else's comment. It wasn't even a direct response to the video as such. It was a response to someone else's comment um, who was kind of speaking up for the cops and start kind of saying, well, you know, you should have just showed your ID kind of thing. Uh, and, I, you know, this is fairly self-explanatory meme. Uh, from World War II, Nazi talking to a Jew who's obviously been uh, classed as such and obviously even had his head shaved, so probably on the verge of going to a death camp if, you know, that kind of situation. He's got the star, being forced to wear the star, which was a rule that uh, the German government put in place at that time. You know, they made it legal, basically, to send people to slave camps and to force them to wear stars and so on. Um and so it says, obviously, here, instead of saying, fuck the SS, how about you stop breaking the law? Uh, which was basically exactly the same kind of logic that uh, these police supporters were using in the comments in America today. Because they're saying, hey, instead of you saying the cops are bastards, how about you stop breaking the law? Except for the person wasn't breaking the law, as far as I know, and many people pointed that out. And even if he was breaking the law by just asking why he's being pulled over, 
uh, you know, that, that just means there's something wrong with the law, doesn't it? Just like there was something wrong with the law in Germany, which meant they could round up people based on heritage and put them in a slave camp. I mean, it's it's self-explanatory to anybody with a working brain and heart. Um, so I posted that, and, you know, I no one in the comments was against that from what I saw. It's the kind of meme you would expect to see in those kind of threads. No one... Uh, who supports that page anyway would have complained probably it's possible someone else complained um who's pro police probably that's what happened so here's what i got uh this person this next up you can't post for 24 hours uh because your previous post didn't follow the facebook rules and then they say this comment goes against our standards so only you can see it and then it says on the next page we don't allow certain things on facebook including graphic violence well there wasn't any of that Hate speech, harassment and bullying, nudity, sexual activity and sexual exploitation. Well, there's nothing nude or sexual in there, so it must be one of these three, right? Hate speech, harassment or bullying. Well, is this bullying anyone? Um, no. Okay, it's not even mentioning anyone by name at all, is it? So it can't really be said to be that. Is it harassment? Uh, no. I mean. The negative connotation here is against the SS, the German criminal group that most of the world went to war to kill because they were evil. Uh, so probably not harassing them. I mean, it's illegal to even talk about uh, it, favorably Nazism in some countries, let alone, uh, you know, it's not illegal to put it down, is it? So I couldn't really say that it was harassment. Is it hate speech? Well, that's the only thing that's left, isn't it? So... Interesting. What is hate speech? Well, my understanding is hate speech is essentially any language used in public that could be said to incite um, activity and violence, perhaps, against uh, a recognized group who are known to be the subject of such violence, typically. Uh, you know, so in other words, if I if this meme was different and it said, fuck the Jews or something like that, or, you know, the Nazis were right or whatever, you know, some right-wing extremist memes might say, then yes, that would fall under hate speech rules in law probably as well in, in you know, the political uh, climate that we're in today. But this is the opposite. This is not saying, <laughs> this is literally the opposite. This is standing up for the Jew in a sense in this picture and saying the Nazis were wrong. So that's basically all this says. I mean, if to, to break it, put it into its context, what this meme is saying is, the Nazis were wrong. Let's make sure that our police forces don't start acting like Nazis because it's happened before. That's what I meant by this meme, and I would say most people would understand that. And yet Facebook deems it's hate speech. So I tried to uh, give them some feedback and just say, hey, you know, you made a mistake. I posted an image that simply highlighted the way that Nazi authoritarianism in World War II Germany resulted in the Holocaust. I'm unclear how this could violate any punity rules on Facebook. Click send, and then, oh, I couldn't send, couldn't post, process the request. Please try again later. No matter what I did, I couldn't send that message. So not only are they censoring me, ultimately, on their network for doing the opposite of what I actually did, but then they're not even letting me defend myself. Hmm. Sounds quite Nazi-esque to me, doesn't it? I mean... Not allowing someone to defend themselves and also attacking them for the opposite of what they're actually doing. So, for example, the um, false flag event at the start early on in World War II on the Polish border where uh, German troops dressed up as um, Polish troops, as I understand it, and then attacked German border uh, guards, killing some of them in order to justify the invasion of Poland. You know, that, that would be an example of attacking somebody for doing the opposite of what you say they're doing. In other words, attacking people who are peaceful, saying that they're violent, and so on. Uh, so, effectively, Facebook has attacked me for doing, for saying uh, the opposite of what I actually said. And, you know, as as a, um, well, people like to class me as a conspiracy theorist. That's not what I'd call myself. I mean, I guess you could say I'm a conspiracy researcher. I'd say I just like truth. I'm pro-truth and pro-freedom. 
Uh, and it seems like, in a way, I'm in a minority because most people vote for governments and governments are an authoritarian system which uh, basically tries to overpower the will of the many uh, under the will of a minority, which basically means that anybody who has a particular position in society could be said to be a minority who's being overpowered by voters and statists. So therefore, you know, logically speaking, you could say that I could be part of a uh, particular group that might be the subject of hate speech from time to time, like from uh, people who are pro-government saying things against people who are uh, more for freedom. So being as I've just acted out my right to free speech by saying something that is not in any way wrong or hate speech, and I've been attacked and silenced and so on, you could say that Facebook's acting in a way that's harassing me and ultimately attacking me through a form of possibly hate and bullying, couldn't you? Uh, you know, that a case could be made for that, certainly. So I just thought I'd point that out, um, you know, and remind you that there are alternatives to Facebook uh, and YouTube and so on that, that are actually pro-free speech and are respectful and, you know, don't stand for antisocial behaviour and evil, but at the same time, don't have ridiculous things like this happening where people get silenced just for exercising free speech in a balanced way. Um, sure, I'm sure there will be some people in the police forces around the world who would be annoyed at being compared to Nazi Germany, but you know there are parallels to be drawn and it would be disingenuous to say that there aren't. It's completely coherent and logical to make those comparisons. Uh, how far you go with it is up to you and I would say in this instance from what I saw in that video it was not wrong of me to draw that parallel and I have relatives who fought Germans in World War II and I listened to them and and I've studied this subject historically and academically to some extent and I understand to some extent how the Germans Nazi party came to be in power and do what they did in World War II. I don't want it happening again. So my actions here have only one intention, which is to stop authoritarian evil taking over. Uh, and I don't really see how you can say that there's anything wrong with that. So, you know, the social networks that I recommend will never silence you for making those kinds of comments. And I definitely do recommend using any Steam-powered uh, website, the Steam blockchain, which is a social network and cryptocurrency and blockchain rolled into one. It's mostly completely uncensored. And you can find that on many sites such as steampeak.com, steamit.com, d.tube, uh, threespeak.online, my site, eureka.org, and many others. And yeah, definitely recommend checking that out. Minds.com is fairly good as well from, from a free speech perspective. They do have more control than the Steam blockchain, however. Uh, they're under a bit more pressure, I think, to do that. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's my news from today. Great. <laughs> Uh, if you are somebody who wants to get to the truth of uh, what's happening in the world and doesn't like being censored and having uh, oligarchies, plutocracies, uh, billionaires t saying what you can and cannot say, then I highly recommend you come and check out Steam Power Sites and uh, do your best to share that information with other people and, and help them to uh, move across to these platforms too. You've got nothing to lose and in fact you get paid for posting on Steam so you're actually likely to gain financially from doing it, not, not lose anything. With Facebook, basically there is huge money to be made from you using their platform and it goes to Facebook and their shareholders. With Steam, the money that's made from using that platform, some of it goes to you. So it's a no-brainer, isn't it? Anyway, uh, if you've enjoyed watching this, please do give me a thumbs up and a uh, upvote on Steam if you're on Steam and a re-blog and share along with your friends. Uh, if you're on YouTube, if you like what I'm doing here, I've got many, many more videos covering important topics relating to healing, balancing and evolving, how to create freedom and so on on this planet. Please do subscribe and hit the notification bell to get full notifications in future. And until next time, peace.